Oh, it's you. I got his letter. Uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of a dirty-minded pragmatist like me. On the road through the bayou, he has a red coach. So we are clear, I do not approve of this behavior. your passage. When I get in, you carry on. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige. Sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? <laughs> the mayor is a crook. Uh, me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. They say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Come on! Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc, you have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh, I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. go and say those awful things about me, buddy. 
Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. <clears throat> with that rifle, I'll stop. How about that? <laughs> Looks like we got some company. You're coming the wrong way. Light up or lights out. Hey, I know that one. He was part of that massacre, devil. <laughs> at cowboy well I ain't too sure <laughs> well that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with. Hmm. now shoo please I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up all right maybe later then hey mister oh hey friend you boys don't look so fresh. We ain't. I think we're dying, friend. We ate some bad mushrooms. Bad business, sure. I'm I'm begging you, partner. Oh. 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 Oh, why? I told you to help us. I told you. Are we? Well, physically. Drink this. I'll give it to Black first. No, no, no. No, give it to White. No, no. Drink okay. this and shut Take it. up. Thank you. Oh, uh, oh that's good stuff. Ooh. But listen, I reckon you boys should get on out of here. Maybe split up. Head up north or overseas. They don't like groups of men. I know. I hear you, boss. Once we're better. Oh, yeah, well, I agree. I mean, I, I can't wait to be rid of you. Embarrassing. Embarrassing? Yeah, you're an embarrassment. Well, uh, be embarrassed no more. Uh, Get back to where folks like you, and I'll go where they like me. Uh, oh, I shall. Well, shut up, will you? <laughs> With pleasure. Uh. Hey, you all right, mister? Can we, uh, can we help you? I'm fine. Oh, I know you two. Hey, hey look who it is. Oh. <laughs> I barely recognized you boys on account of you not trying to kill each other. Yeah, well, somebody learned his manners, finally. So you boys didn't run away. Now, nobody looking out here. I reckon we're, we're okay. Mm, all right. But the law's pretty... Well, it's pretty vigorous these days. I told you we should leave, but did you want to listen? Oh, no. Mr. Hyde Mata, he don't listen to no oh, one. Oh, would you just shut up? I will not. Uh, I will not shut up. You know what? You'll shut up when I shut you up. Oh, that's real funny. I cannot believe it. I'm stuck out here with only you to talk to. I get a better conversation from the goddamn trees. I know. I've seen you talking to them. They should have hanged you for being a moron. You're an 
unkind man, Mr. Black. Hey. Oh, let me in. Let, let me in. Open the door. Come on. I kill you myself. Go away. Let me in. I, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Now let me in. Go away. I'm so, I'm I'm I'll make dinner again. All right, I'm I'm sorry. Say you're sorry again. I'm real sorry. From his bridge. Would you tell your talking monkey to go home, please, Helen? He was amusing at first, but now he's really quite tiring. Plus, I do wish they had shaved his palms as well as his face. Be quiet, you hobgoblin. His bottom is bright red, and he mostly eats bananas. You too. Oh, Arthur, how are you? Never better. See, you two haven't changed much. No, he's still a lizard. Coward, gerbil, mommy's boy, Manatee. effluentist charge, milk sop. You already said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sop. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with. I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. Arthur, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Uh... Oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me. Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor. Crazy bastard. Oh, my lord. Oh, the fools. The silly fools. I cannot believe they've done this. Come on. Let's go try and find them. You can't get down. There you are. I thought you were a goner. Uh, it's a miracle we're alive. Silly, silly voice. You nearly died for me. <laughs> She's right. Dear brother, what fools we've been. You're the fool, but a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know. You are a lion. Giant. You're an earth shaker. World. Conqueror! Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? I, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch, some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought Leb, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys? Boys? <sighs> There's quite some suitors you picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without no, me. Probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. <sighs> oh, I wasn't trying to lead them on, you know. It was just exciting. The smartest men I knew. Positively the least sense. <laughs> yeah. Yes, usually the way it works. Good luck. You have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductors.
Yeah. Second time. <laughs> More like seven thousand. This is my life's work. It is incredible. Watch. I am so happy. <laughs> oh, you just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Easy. Whoa. some medicine. Better than nothing. Damn it, that won't help! Look at me! I'm bleeding out here. Come on! Can't! Can't! Stay! I can't fall! I get her! Damn good shooting, senor. Thank God for you, mister. 
Le debo la vida. Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> Hello, mister. Yeah, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now, you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> Uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while. And we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. Primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? <gasps> well, look who it is. You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> I didn't mean to intrude, miss. <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. You should be careful, miss, inviting strangers in your home like this. Oh, I'm a very good judge of character. I see the look in your eyes. He, uh, just asked me to check on you, that's all. Oh, you don't need to make any excuses. No, sirree. Bitches. Hello there, mister. Hello. You must be real lonely out here, friend. You're real strange, you know that? So... You hungry, huh? I got food. I got food inside. Come on on. I think I like you Boy. so much. Forward to see old Sonny. Stay away from me. You want to come in? I
your creation now? Uh-huh. 